another edition of Smoking a Bay Cigar Review. Hope you're smoking something good today. As always, let's get into it. I'm your boy. Let's check this review out. This cigar I'm going to review is very limited. It comes from Room 101, Matt Booth. Golden Bucket, aka the Golden Death Bucket, the third death bucket in the series. As well, we have the original two. The first death bucket that came out in 2018, and the 2020 release Death Bucket number two. But we're gonna be smoking the Golden Death Bucket today. So as we know, this is the third installment of the series for this cigar. It is wrapped in cellophane. Let's go ahead and remove it. Nice looking gold band here. Got the bucket on there with the skull in it and the chicken bone, the chicken drumsticks, I should say. Really good looking cigar. The wrapper is a natural shade, which is undisclosed. Filler and the binder are also undisclosed. I guess that's what makes this cigar special. This is a projected medium body cigar, and you can only get these if they're still in a Room 101 rep's hand. These were given away with boxes sold last year in 2023. So if you can find someone laying around that'll give one to you, ask them for it, smoke it, see for yourself. Please get a hold of one if you can. Very good cigar. Let's get into the notes of the wrapper. All right, so we have a nice milk chocolate hue. Nice and oily, nice feel to the touch, nice and smooth. Few veins, not that many. Been humidified since last year, so it's been sitting nicely. Real nice hue on here, a little toothy. Nice looking cigar. Take a look at the cap here. Nicely crafted, well put together, nicely made. Let's take some notes of the wrapper. Nice earth, rich earth and soil a little touch of chocolate a little touch of spice heavy minerals really nice earthy smell to the cigar let's check the notes of the foot of the cigar nicely packed there well put together we get some notes of spice some heavy earth hay and a touch of black pepper very spicy very smooth smells delicious let's cut it take some dried puffs be cut Nice cut, some heavy spice, some pepper, rich earth, touch of chocolate, very good. Feels like a medium to full on that dry puff, but let's see what we got. First few puffs, we get some horse spice, real strong, real robust, not spicy, but just real bursting with flavor, real flavorful, strong. Real heavy presence here. Then we get some smooth white pepper. Quick kick, dissipates. Nice flavor, nice kick to it. And the final, we get a little sweet lemon curd. Something that you put on your toast or you put in a dessert to give it a little sweet lemon kick with a little tart. So sweet, tart, coarse spice. Very smooth, very nice tasting through this first few puffs. Very nice flavor. Medium body so far. Real smooth smoke. And the ash is starting off nice gray, nice and firm. Touch of flakiness there. Really good start. All right, so about 20 minutes in, in this first third of the cigar, we are getting some rich notes of spice. The spice is still lingering from the first puffs. Real rich, real heavy, real good flavor. Nice linger on the palate. We're getting a touch of fruit, little ripe fruit, little sweetness. Nice kick in there to mesh with the spice. And we're getting some of that white pepper also remaining. Nice kick to it, but it dissipates quickly. So it's a nice linger, a nice smooth fruit flavor on the palate after each puff. Really good cigar so far in this first third. Really good. Matt Booth, 101. Room 101, I should say. Good job so far. 
Too bad these aren't in regular production, but like I said, if you can find them, grab them. Stirred Retro Hell offers some nice pretzel, salty, doughy, real delicious. Nice pretzel, doughy kick in the nostrils. A little bit of black pepper, kick a little spice in there. Nice flavor, not overpowering, but it's a kick. It's a nice kick. Then a surprising touch of gingerbread. Sweet dough, soft, a little gingerness to it. Gingery, gingerbread. Nice kick in this first retro hill from the pepper, the spice, and the gingerbread. We are getting close to the band now, so we will take this off before we get into the second, third notes. Nice and easy. Still holding nicely, great looking cigar. Here is a close up of the band. Really good looking band, nice gold eye catchy. Got the bucket of chicken with the bones in it, the skull, and the drumsticks on the side. Great looking band, very eye catchy. In this second third, we get some nice white onion. Not too strong, nice and subtle, touch of sweetness, but very good onion flavor. Very faint, nice and smooth. We get some paper, some plain paper in there. Nice little mild touch of paper, not bad. Different, but decent. Then we get some heavy coffee. Nice, rich, strong black coffee in the second third. Real rich, real good, smooth kick of coffee in there. No caffeine, but a nice flavor in this second third. Nice smooth linger on the palate. Nice flavor. Sits there nicely. Not harsh. Very smooth. In this second third retro hell, we get a nice kick of spicy black pepper. It is kicked up. It is strong in the nostrils. Don't recommend it for a beginner, but it's nice. It's a great kick. It may give you a water or two in your eye. You get some rich, dry, earthy hay kind of like baling hay at the barn. Nice, earthy touch to it. Dry, rich, very flavorful. And then final in the retro hill, you get some wood oak. Nice touch of oak wood with the pepper, the hay. Really good meshing in here. Strong second, third retro hill. Finally, we get the sun to go down, get a clear view. Final third of this cigar. Very smooth, very rich, nice flavors. We get some nice unbuttered crackers in there. No salt, no butter, just a nice cracker. Great flavor. We get some potato skin. Kind of like if you shave the potato, bake the skins in the oven. Nice potato skin flavor as well. Rich, earthy. And you get a little bit of touch of spice and nutmeg. Not spicy, a little bit of nutmeg you put on top of eggnog pie. Very good flavor in this final third. Rich, smooth, great flavor throughout this whole cigar. Final third is mellowed out. Nice, good flavor. Smooth, great on the palate. Nice linger. Flavor sits there nicely. Real fresh. Nice tasting cigar. Great job, Room 101. Matt Booth. Wish these bad boys were in more of a production. Final third retro hill. This offers some sweet red licorice. Nice flavor, like eating a piece of red licorice. Real good sweetness, nice touch, nice kick in the nostrils. A little bit of turmeric and a little bit of olives, kind of like you get on a salad. Nice mesh, not overpowering. Smoothed out nicely in this final third for the retro hill. Really good cigar. So my overall review for this cigar will be a 91. Very high, something we're not gonna have, a one-shot cigar. I hope you got one of the several thousand that were made, given out during Room 101 events at your local cigar shop or lounge. Very good flavor. Smooth linger on the palate through the whole smoke. Didn't get real too heavy. Nice, rich smoke, earthy, spice, touch of coffee. Really good flavor and some ripe fruit throughout this whole cigar. Light, crisp, 
rich smoke, nice medium body. Great for anyone to try. Heavy smokers, light smokers, cigar, this one is it. The flake was nice and gray, touch of ashy. It was firm at first, but then it got flaky towards the end. No problem, still held strong, nice smooth smoke rich soil. Nicotine hit wasn't bad. Didn't get any buzz from it. Didn't get hit hard. Nice smooth smoke throughout the whole thing. Flavors meshed well. Really smooth cigar through the whole thing. Little touch of roughness on the first retro hill, but then it mellowed out. Really enjoyable smoke through the whole thing. Nice Robusto. Wish it was a Toro, but also that could change the flavor, but a great cigar. I highly recommend it if you can get your hands on these. Go do it. Never burned hot once. Nice cool smoke draw was smooth no needing for a tool great smoke flavorful can't say enough about it thank you once again for following me on my reviews i hope you enjoyed this one of room 101 golden death bucket follow me on all my social media platforms remember i do this for fun i do not get paid get cigars from time to time from companies but i do not get paid for these reviews i do it for pure enjoyment for you to know what's going on in the cigar industry follow me on social media TikTok, rumble here on YouTube, X, aka Twitter, Instagram. You can also come check me out at Aloni Cigar Lounge if you're in the Fremont, California area, Bay Area. I'll be there. Come get some cigars and smoke with me. Once again, thank you for joining me. Hope you have a good smoke. Hope you can get a hold of these and enjoy them like I do. Cigars are our life, man. Cigar life, baby. Enjoy what you're smoking. Happy smoke, player. Peace.